Hi everyone. So this is going to be my first actual um, lipstick intervention. Um, it derives from my name and my username derives from a conversation my friend and I once had. Her name is Ariana and Ari and I are both obsessed with lipstick. You see our collections and you're just like, whoa, like there's a lot of lipstick. We love it. It's our favorite, favorite beauty product. And um, we were making some jokes. We were walking around a mall one day. We were hanging out and we were just talking about how much we love lipstick. And she makes some comments. She goes, um, <laughs> she went, hi, my name is Ariana. I'm addicted to lipstick. And I responded back, hi, Ari. You know, like we were at some sort of, you know, AA meeting. And it was really funny. That's where I kind of stuck with it. But no, so lipstick intervention is basically what happens when you're viewing a bunch of lipsticks or you're you know, just kind of looking at a bunch of them and taking a look and really getting in depth them, really getting into the meat of the lipstick. So today, this lipstick intervention is on my pink Revlon lipsticks. There are the Revlon ones that look like this with the gold band. Holy crap. <laughs> with, you know, with the band on them. I... Some of these are pearls, and some of these I keep dropping stuff. What the heck? Um, and some of these are creams. I have four of the pink ones today, um, but I'm not wearing them on my lips. Actually, this one is a shade from NYX. I think this one's Paris. Definitely Paris. All right, so we're just going to keep swatching, and I'm going to kind of talk about these shades a little bit. Um, first, I have Gentlemen Prefer Pink, and it is a pearl. The bottom sticker kind of looks like that. You know, it kind of gives you a feel for the lipstick, but I don't feel like it really does. So it's really nice about the product packaging is that there's a clear top, which means there is no reason for anybody to be finding these in stores, picking off, you know, the plastic wrapping and swatching them on their hands because then you're infecting it, not infecting it. I feel like that makes you sound like, you know, you have Ebola or something and you're like infecting the lipstick but you're contaminating it. You are absolutely contaminating it and ruining it for the next person who comes along and buys it. It should be their prerogative and it should be their choice to pick what they want to happen to their lipstick. Not you because you decide that you're going to try something out before you buy it. No, these things cost four, like $4.50, $4.99 something at Walmart and there is absolutely no reason why you should have an issue if you really don't like it that much. I don't know about the return policy, but you should take a look at that. Don't ruin the packaging. Don't wreck everything for the next person who comes along. I'm sorry, biggest peppy. So you see it on top, and this is a pearly, kind of like a Barbie pink. No, it's really pretty. I like it. And it looks swatched on my hand like that. It's a very Barbie bright pink. Um, but it's not totally obnoxious. I feel like it's definitely wearable, but it is something that I feel is a totally Barbie color. And then there's Wink for Pink, which is another pearl. It has a slightly more coral tone to it. I don't know, it's kind of like a corally peachy pink, but it's really, really pretty. I'll put that one on top. And this one, like above it. So you have that. It's a little more peachy, corally, but it's still definitely a very pretty, pretty pink. It's very girly. I love it. And then I have a cream called Primrose. This is one of my absolute favorites. I got turned on to this by, who is it? Oh my gosh, by 11th Gorgeous. I absolutely love them. And it's kind of like a mauve pink. It's definitely like a mauve light pink. It's some, I feel like I might have seen my grandma, like I look at this and I don't think, oh, that's a grandma color. I look at this and I think, I think I've seen my grandma wearing this. Like it's very just elegant and sweet and I don't know, just absolutely delicious. I love it. Swatch that on top. Looks like that. It's the one on the top. And I absolutely love it. I think it's gorgeous. Um, I actually wear this one a lot. When I'm not digging a really like bright lipstick or one that's very vivid, I go for that one. Then the last one I have is Love That Pink. That is a very hot pink, borderline red. I feel like when you put it on, it does pull a little more red and it starts to look like a pinky red. No, but it's really, really pretty. I love it. Um, yep, no, that's it's like borderline crossing into red category. I mean, look at that. 
I mean, you look at it and you think that's totally red, but it does have a lot of pinks into it. I don't know, and it's really, really gorgeous. I love it. I still consider it pink. Anyway, it's my first lipstick intervention. That's what these things are. Um, and I hope you enjoyed yourself. Any questions, comments, requests, whatever, send me a message. Hit me, you know, up with a comment down below. Give me a thumbs up. Subscribe. That'd be awesome. And you have a fabulous day. Toodles.